you know, I, I, I thought Virginia was terrific from the beginning to the end. I thought their defense was what Virginia's about, but I thought their execution was better. And, you know, they came into this game struggling offensively, and we, we gave them uh, too many layups. They had 26 buckets. We had them for 18 layups in the game. Our defense wasn't good enough. For us to be a team like Virginia, we have to be a lot better defensively uh, than we were. So, um, so give them a lot of credit. I, I do think it was um, a tough matchup for us where we are right now with our team. Um, but we didn't quit. We kept trying to respond, and, and uh, you know, I, I think we're I think we'll be a better team because we played Virginia tonight. Um, so really good. Open up for questions. Mark, Mark, can you kind of talk about just how your young guys, maybe how they had some growing pains tonight, uh, and, and especially Melo, and, and kind of some of the, the challenges that he maybe saw defensively? Well, I think Melo was terrific. I mean, it was two on one most of the time he had the ball. So I thought Mello was great. Light was off the charts. Got to the foul line 14 times against a team that was just trying to stop him. So I thought he was great. He just didn't have a lot of help um, on that end. So um, um, there was growing pains on the defensive end. I think that was really where our growing pains were. And we weren't physically, we weren't physically tough enough to match their intensity, but their screening and their execution. And, um, that's really where our young guys, our new guys, probably struggled the most. Mark, how much did the first five or six minutes uh, dictate sort of the whole game and, then, and, and also the way you guys were able to at least make it a game? Is that something you can build on? Yeah, I, I think the, the the first five minutes you saw a veteran team that won two championships last year, you know, the league championship and the tournament championship. They lost two players, but they've added some good pieces. And it looked like a bunch of grown men out there um, playing against us. Um, but I did think that we got our offense going. It was just we just couldn't get couldn't get the defense going. We just couldn't get it going. We got to the foul line. You know, it's hard to it's hard to do what we did. Uh, no one's going to shoot that many free throws on Virginia the rest of the year. So that's a good sign that we, because we couldn't do that early in the year. So without Des, to be able to get to the line that much is a compliment to our team. Um, so that was a, a big part of how we scored. But um, we didn't quit. We kept trying to play. They were just terrific. I mean, they just would run the clock down and whap a three there late. So it was really hard to cut the lead down. But uh, they played for 40 minutes, and uh, our defense just wasn't quite good enough. Coach, you mentioned the AW better teams you played Virginia. What, what specifically about them? Is, is there something about their pace that, that makes you think? No, it's just they're very them? physical. They're very veteran. The way they approach the game, for our young guys to see it, you know, I think that's all important. The way they approached it. They approached it. They had a game plan. They ran it. Their physicality and things like that will help us. Because we, have, we haven't seen anything like that yet. So it was, it was kind of an eye-opener for my new players. Mark, in the first half especially, do you feel like Dion sparked you guys yeah. offensively? And then just during the course of the last couple of games, how have you seen him come along offensively? And then just to piggyback on that, what's the next step for him now? Well, obviously the last game he had a lot of points. I think he had 19. Um, tonight he hit the two big threes. Tough shots when we had nothing really going. Um, and he can do that. I, I think his next step is defensively getting better. And then just... Um, you know, helping us assist-wise, taking some pressure off Mello, getting him more ball screens, more in position to make plays, kind of like Des was doing for us. He's got to give us some of those plays. Des will get shots for people. Deion's got to give us a little bit of that. And just continue to improve defensively. Alex, right there, and then Don. Mark, tactically, uh, with the things that their defense does, preventing transition baskets and locking in the half court, uh, how did that change your approach on offense side, and how did it make it harder for you guys uh, or easier than um, I, I wouldn't say anything was easy against them, but um, they make you play different. Um, they, they make you want to spread them out and drive. We haven't really worked on that part of our offense a lot. We've so many new players and all the things that we're going through with injuries right now. We're just trying to be good in a few things. So we just we we added our drive game here for them, 
and we were pretty good in it, really. But I think we got maybe stuck with it a little too long, got a little bit out of rhythm. We got to do what we do. We got to run our system. That'll help us. John, last question, please. Mark, in terms of the second half, second half that uh, Jake had and the way he played, is that given the problems he's had against Virginia, getting going, is that what you want to see in terms of how uh, aggressive he was coming to the basket? Yeah, I, you know, I thought Jake really played well. I thought he tried hard, tried to defend, uh, was trying to be a leader, trying to communicate. Um, you know, got himself going, uh, going to the, the basket, made some free throws, um, you know, rebounded, five rebounds. Um, Jake's a big part of what we're trying to do right now. Um, but, you know, he's got to continue to trust his teammates. That's really important. It's things I was talking to Des about. Just trust. you got good players around. You trust them and let the system work. So, but between now and Saturday, we got to get a little bit better defensively. That'll, that'll help everybody. Thanks, guys.